During May of 2003, 250 pieces were unearthed from the Jin Tune of Xi Yan Chur in Linyi City, Shandong Province. Among them, a very peculiar porcelain sculpture quickly captured people's attention. A foreigner, his nose long and his eyes deep, rides a strange-looking beast while one of his hands are clasping a palm leaf. His steady gaze stares forward, but what most attracts our attention is his enormous hat, whose size seems purposely exaggerated. The foreigner, or Hu people, was the common term in which people of the North and West were known in China. Many figurines of Hu people wearing strange hats have been unearthed in the central plains. Some of their hats are pointy, while others are square. The strange beast this Hu gentleman is riding is open-mouthed and glowering, its plump body sustained by short legs. It looks like a lion, or the Chinese Bi Xia, a legendary beast said to look like a winged lion which guards wells and tombs. This beast has no wings and is therefore only a lion. Yet lions are kings among animals and were believed to be great protectors against evil. So was this the use that this magnificent porcelain sculpture was put to? If we look at it carefully, we find its abdomen is hollow. And if we pour water into it through the man's hat, it can be poured back out through the lion's mouth. It seems then that the sculpture is a flagon to be placed upon one's desk, ready to produce ink when grinding the inkstone. However, some have also noticed that it is a candle holder, since its tall hat has an orifice that could easily hold a candle. In fact, this magnificent piece is both a desk flagon and a candle holder, combining beauty with usefulness. As a candle holder, it belongs to the several lamps whose ingenious designs of the Han Dynasty were between 206 BC and 220 AD that they were famous for. Amongst them is the famous goose and fish bronze lamp, whose body is composed of a swan goose holding a fish in its beak, or the phoenix lamp of copper feathers whose tail comes down to the ground along with its two claws that support it. The phoenix's beak holds a trumpet-shaped lampshade in its beak. As the smoke from the lamp goes into the bird's abdomen, it is filtered by the water there stored, and then exits the lamp keeping the air clean. The lamp at the Chanxi Palace, on the other hand, is a kneeling maid. While one of its hands holds a lamp, the other hand's sleeve acts as a lampshade in a lifelike pose. From 265 to 589 AD, the Jin Dynasty covered a new period in lamp designs. Similar to our candle holder, this bronze lamp shows a celestial being also donning a tall hat while he rides a magical beast. However, his hand is holding a bowl. His hat was in fact an oil lamp, while the bowl in his hand would serve as a candle holder. It was a dual lamp in which both candle or oil could be used to produce light. It was particularly popular for lamps during the Jin Dynasty to take the shapes of various animals such as bears, goats, deer, or lions. The most numerous are sheep or lion shaped, the latter taking various forms. When our porcelain candle holder of the foreigner riding the lion is placed in context, we find each offering a dazzling new sight. The porcelain lamp of the Hu gentleman riding a lion is a representative cultural treasure of great value, which also manifests the continuous mix of ethnic groups throughout China's long past.